boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Heart Teaching. I'm Ms. Davis, and today we're going to talk about another famous artist. So today's famous artist is George Seurat. Say it with me, ready? George Seurat. And George Seurat was famous for painting with dots. He called it pointillism. Say it with me, ready? Pointillism. And if we zoom into one of his paintings, you can see his paintings are made up of teeny tiny dots. So why did George Seurat paint with dots? Well, you see, just like Van Gogh, Seurat wanted to give an impression of an image rather than making it look realistic. That type of painting is called Impressionism. Say it with me, ready? Impressionism. And the type of Impressionism that Seurat liked to do is called Pointillism. Unlike Vincent Van Gogh, who painted very quickly, George Seurat took years to finish his paintings. His most famous painting is called A Sunday Afternoon. So what we're going to do today is we're going to draw and paint a George Seurat umbrella. For this project, you're going to need a white piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, something black to trace with, and then a plate of paints with Q-tips to make the dots with. It doesn't matter what colors you use as long as you enjoy it. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time on a step. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pencil and we're going to draw the top of an umbrella. It's like a big hill. To draw the bottom of the umbrella, we're going to draw lots of little hills. So we're going to start by going up and then down. Remember to go up first. From there, we're going to go up again and then down. Once again, make sure to go up first. Up and down up and down, up and down, up and down. And make sure each one connects at a point. Now we're gonna draw some lines that go from these points to the very top of the hill. So I'm gonna start at the second one because the first one already has one. So the second one, I'm gonna draw a big curve and they're all going to connect at the top of the hill. This one can be straight because it's coming from the middle. And there we go. Now we need a handle. So we're going to draw an upside down candy cane. Let's start with some vertical, which means up down, parallel lines. Remember parallel means they never touch. So watch me first. So I'm starting somewhere in the middle of the umbrella and I'm gonna draw two vertical lines that never touch. That means they're parallel. Your turn. Now, it doesn't matter which line you start with, but we're gonna draw a valley. Now, starting from the other line, we're gonna draw a bigger valley and it does not need to touch the first valley. So these lines, since they never touch, are also parallel. They're just not straight, they're curved. Now we're gonna connect the ends of our valley lines with a hill. And we're done. Now we need to outline. Get out a black marker or crayon and trace all of your pencil lines. Remember, to trace means to follow. Once you're done tracing, get out your plate of paints and designate one Q-tip for each color. It doesn't matter what colors you have, whatever paint you have at home is fine. You can even do this with markers. So I'm going to have a red umbrella and what you're going to do is you're going to take your Q-tip with your red paint on it and you're going to paint with dots, but you don't want your dots to touch. So watch this. Dot, 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 dot. Are any of my dots touching? No. There's a little bit of white space between every dot. When your paint goes a little dry, just take another dip of paint and keep going. Dot, 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 dot. Try your best to stay in the lines. Okay. 
Fill all of your shapes with dots. Now, in my background, I think I want a sun. So I'm going to use yellow, but I'm not making one big dot. I'm going to make a circle with lots of little dots. Once again, make sure your dots never touch. And there's my sun. Now, I want some grass across the bottom. So I'm going to make an imaginary line. And below that line, I'm gonna put green dots. And that's my grass. And above my grass, I'm gonna do blue dots for the sky. I might even leave some little white shapes for clouds. And there is my George Seurat umbrella. I even added some little white puffy clouds in my sky. If your Q-tip starts to get a bit fuzzy and you start getting marks like this, just get out a new Q-tip or use the other end of the Q-tip. I actually went through two or three blue Q-tips while doing this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed painting with me and George Seurat. This has been Miss Davis. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, keep drawing.